Welcome to our Albania travel series. The grand finale. We are currently in Tirana, which might be the most underrated capital city in all of Europe. We had no idea what to expect before coming to Tirana because we booked everything last minute. Ready? We were booked, but we were not expecting any of this. Albania has so much interesting history that we'll share with you as we slow travel the country for the next two months. This is definitely the creepiest thing I've ever seen. But in today's video, we'll show you what Tirana is like after only being open to the world since 1991. Good morning from Tirana, Albania. I still cannot believe we're here and we cannot wait to show you this super cool city. Right now we are heading to the city center. So we're staying in a really nice Airbnb that's like $35 a night and it's like a 15 minute walk. Not bad at all. Based on what we've seen so far, it seems like your money does go a long way here in Albania. Anyways, we're almost at the square. It's a square called, I'm gonna try to pronounce this, Skanderbeg Square. And that's our first stop for the night. Crossing the street here is an adventure. In theory, they're supposed to stop for you on the crosswalks, and they do, ah! but they're all just like hauling, and they stop at the very last minute. It's super sketchy, but I think you just gotta go, and eventually they'll slam the brakes. And right. let you, yeah, it's really weird. They're going like full speed, and then right when you cross, they like slam the brakes, and everyone behind them is like slamming their brakes. This is Tirana's famous Skenderbeg Square. There's a few cool sites to see around here. There's the National Museum and the Opera House, which has some cool cafes. But really, it's like a meeting point for locals. So it's not very busy right now because it's like noon and kind of toasty. But if you come in the afternoons and the evening, then there's tons of people just like going for strolls and hanging out with their families. So it's a cool way to see like what life is like in Tirana to get a little taste. So that massive statue behind us is the famous Skanderbeg. He's like a national icon here in Albania. Everyone loves him. He was very brave in fighting the Ottomans. So the Ottoman Empire was huge and powerful, Albania, tiny country. And he kept like fighting them and driving them out. So that's why they love him here. You can go check it out. And that's why the square is called. That's why the square is called Skanderbeg. And we've seen several uh, statues of him, and he's always just like massive and muscular. <laughs> I would be scared of him too. I'd get the hell out of Albania. Cool down on a hot day. You can also drink it. You can also drink it. Should I? I don't know about you drink it. I saw someone drinking. Stop my mop a little bit. <laughs> totally out of control. How do I look? Beautiful. Very fresh, actually. It's nice and cold. Tirana is a lot bigger than we expected, but even though it's big, most of the attractions and the things that you have to see in the cool neighborhoods, they're five minutes away from the square. And right now we're heading to probably the most famous attraction in the city. This behind me is Bunk R2, probably the most famous bunker in the city center. And what you have to know for now about Albania is that there used to be a communist dictatorship until 1991. And this dictator, Enver Hoxha, he was super paranoid and he had over 170,000 bunkers built throughout the country. But we're going to show you all of that and the history, communism, bunkers, and even his bunker, which is outside of the city center and it's five stories. We'll show you all of that in the next video. So we're not going to go into it.
happened during the dictatorship like they they were atheists so they had order to like destroy everything like churches and mosques but they acknowledged that this one was unique and beautiful and they kept it and that's why it's still here today we are loving Tirana. It's a city with a really cool character. Like you can tell that it's kind of coming into its own after being a communist city until 1991. So you see all these modern buildings popping up everywhere and it just has a really cool vibe. Yeah, definitely. Everyone's like young and hip and it feels very European, right? Like uh -huh, there's cool sure. cafes and bars and cocktail like places and restaurants and everyone's sitting outside. And we're gonna find some food in one of these cool restaurants because we're hungry. It is lunchtime. This is what we were saying about like feeling European. Like today is Tuesday, it's noon. There's people out everywhere sitting outside, smoking their cigarettes, drinking coffee, chatting, just being super social. And we don't know much about Albanian food yet, but bear with us. We're going to be here for over two months and we'll learn. We just saw this place and we went in and only have this Italian food. To be fair, they do have a lot of Italian food here in Tirana. So we just ordered some pasta. <laughs> One of the things we noticed here in Tidana is that there are a ton of Mercedes on the street and we asked around and apparently it is a thing. A lot of Albanians overspend to get awesome Mercedes because they absolutely adore them. Apparently it was like the only car after the country opened in the 90s that like kept running. All the other cars like broke down so there's a ton of loyalty and you see them everywhere. about Tirana so far? I love Tirana. I think it's much different than any other city that we've ever been to. Like we just left that street with all the cool restaurants and the cafes and then right next to us are like old like communist style buildings. Yeah. And it's just like a, such a, a weird mix and like you almost get a sense of what life used to be like almost. here in Tirana like 35 years ago with those like buildings. But they're also trying to like spruce it up. There's like the graffiti and the murals on the walls. It's just like a really interesting mix that we've never really experienced. And it feels very like Tirana. Like there's nowhere else like it. Yeah, I agree. Great way it. to describe it. Thank you. We love it here. Tirana, you're our kind of place. Thumbs up, like your t shirt. <laughs> Good thing Albania has the second most coffee shops per capita in the world. <laughs> There's a strong coffee culture here in Albania. It seems like any day of the week, any time of the day, there's always people out and about like drinking coffee and chatting. And it seems like they take forever. We like to observe people a lot when we're traveling. And they just sit and have a cup of coffee for like two hours, smoke like eight cigarettes. And they just sit, there's no rush to leave when it's done. Like, it seems like what people do, and we read that they have like a phrase that it's avash avash, I think that's how you say it. And it's just like, take it easy, slow down, why today, if there's tomorrow, just relax. Avash avash, I like it. We really wanted to show you the local market or bazaar or whatever this area is, but it's pretty dead, as you can see. So we're gonna go get ice cream instead. Ice cream. You happy now? I'm happy. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this. It's like a bread. It looks like a pretzel dough. Wait, another thing I have to call out. Red Bull ice cream in the bag. Is it soft? Uh, it's like a crunchy cone. You see the Red Bull ice cream? No. In the 
Yeah. <laughs> they do drink a lot of Red Bull here. I don't know why. It's like a separate they... thing on the menus is like energy drinks. Red Bull. Like so. Now we're heading to an area of town called Bloco, which is like the cool, trendy, fun restaurant cocktails. And there's also the dictator's old home is there. I will show you which that is next. Which is not cool. Which is or not trendy. cool. Or trendy. But it's a thing to see here. So we're going to show it to you. I don't know how to eat this really. Ice cream is very good. Mm -hmm. mm. It tastes like a croissant. Really? I think it is a croissant. That is so strange. <laughs> it is very strange. <laughs> it's like bready. But it's good. Mm -hmm. Glad okay. I picked chocolate because that goes very well with croissants. Very unique. We are now in the middle of the Bloku district and behind me is the old mansion of the dictator Enver Hoxha. And it's crazy, it doesn't look super impressive, but if you think about it, the people that lived in Albania and Tirana during his dictatorship had absolutely nothing. And he's just chilling here in this huge mansion. And actually this part of the city was walled off from like the center and all the elites of communism lived here around this area. But if you think about it, there shouldn't be any elites in communism, but obviously they existed. And what's funny is like there's no Starbucks or McDonald's in Tirana at the moment, but there is a KFC and it's directly across from the old dictator's house. Just like smiling at him, kind of like a F you to communism. We've only had great experiences with the Albanian people so far. And this is actually a really like funny and cool anecdote that like speaks for like how cool they are. So in the street that I'm walking on, there's the Ukrainian embassy and the Russian embassy. And what they did after Russia invaded Ukraine is that they changed the name of the street, like officially, to Free Ukraine, just because that will force Russian people to write Free Ukraine whenever they send a letter to their embassy here. I mean, that's brilliant. Every country should do that. That's awesome. <laughs> This is cool. It's good. There wasn't enough reason to love Tirana. They have cool bars. Cool cocktail bars. You're gonna fall in love. I'm worried about you staying in Tirana. <laughs> if the cocktails are good, watch out. Bravo. It's like a red berry cocktail with raki, the local local booze. They might have got a paloma. These look really good. We timed this perfectly with happy hour. If this doesn't say how cool Albania is, or Tirana at least, I don't know what does. Refreshing. This is delicious. Mm -hmm, I just that is it for this Tirana video. We hope you liked it, we hope you enjoyed it. We tried to do a good job like capturing the cool vibes of the mm -hmm. city. It's hard because it's kind of like a feeling, right? It's difficult, but you should definitely come here if we love Tirana and stay tuned for the next video that's coming up because we'll be in this country for at least two or three months touring around the whole place. Mm -hmm. If you have ever been to Albania or are from Albania, leave all the tips in the comments where yeah. to eat, where to go, what to drink, everything. everything. Let open. us know. We have time and we can't wait to hear you, your suggestions. Remember that in the next video we are going to show you all about like the bunkers that are here in Tirana and it's going to be super cool. You don't want to miss it and it's going to cover a little bit more like history. But it, all in all, we are pumped for this travel mm -hmm. series. Can't wait for Albania. It's going to be awesome. We can way to share it with you and so yeah make sure to comment to subscribe to like follow the adventures and we'll see you next time bye thank you this is so crazy like the dripping they're like setting the mood i know <laughs> we're inside five-story nuclear bunker built for Albania's former dictator. I can speak on the phone with Enver Hoxha, the ghost of Enver Hoxha. <laughs> Hello? Enver, the Americans are here. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>